thank you very much for tuning in. If you like what you see, please subscribe. What we have tonight here is a little test running. This is a Carlisle and Finch 2-inch gauge, number 45. This was made from uh, roughly 1904 to 1908. And we're running on 2-inch track here. You have a lovely powerful motor in there. And for template trains, this is rather kind of the pinnacle of uh, model or scale trains at that time. All tin construction with brass wheels. And it's running with the large freight cars, which were uh, are quite rare today. Uh, condition, unfortunately, is not very good, but they are original cars. Um, we have a manual reverse down here. We're running DC. Uh, and tonight we're running on Bassett Loke track, 2-inch. So it's kind of doing a test run here. You can see the lovely little sleepers here that they have holding the rail. Um, trying to recreate here the Voltamp and Boucher layout that was uh, in Frank and Son's uh, showroom in New York and probably got moved to the Boucher, Boucher uh, showrooms or their factory. And I'm trying to recreate that here. In time, it will hopefully look a lot more like the illustration there. Um, but I initially was going to use all Voltamp track, which is this track here. Um, with the uh, uh, metal uh, rails and then the wood base and sleepers. Uh, this track tends to bend and uh, is not always that great. Um, and they come in various radiuses. So this is a, an 80 inch diameter. And up here we have a 60 inch diameter. They also made a 50, a 40 um, throughout the years. Um, but referring to the picture here, the 80 just wasn't big enough. So I'm experimenting here with a uh, an, uh, an eight foot circle, a uh, 096 um, circle made by Bassett Loke, and just experimenting to see if the Carlisle and Finch, which has these narrow stamped brass wheels, will be happy on the rail. And even though they're close, they do uh, seem to accommodate it and ride quite nicely. So I think it's going to be a go. So, um, when this engine came out, it was $25, so it was huge money. It was the most expensive uh, American engine at the time. So, we'll run it around again, and uh, we'll give you some updates as that occurs. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Thank you.